And we're back with more Gran Turismo 4, continuing with the JGTC Championship. Here at Twin Ring Motegi Super Speedway, this will be by far the shortest race, probably. So, 12 laps here. Let's get going. Still on the super hards. I am probably going to... You know what, this might be the hardest race of them all. Because there's only there's like really only one breaking zone, I think. So the AI don't have as much of a disadvantage. And what is this rolling start? That's uh, pretty bad. At least I could take turn one flat out. On lap one, at least. Oh boy. This is definitely going to be a problem. The AI is on mediums. Alright, I'm just going to push the wooden boy. NASCAR strap. Oh no. I don't have grip. This is anti-good. This is going to be my strat. I'm just going to push the super along at the end of every corner. If I can even keep up with it. Music. I'm going to have to do the, the track limit strat. Oh, everybody's got more grip than me. They're on mediums. Look at them going super low. I've never done the... Or I've never seen the AI do that. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to push the modal, even though he's falling behind. Ugh. Yeah, I think first place is doomed. My best bet is just going to be camping in their slipstream. The AI really don't take advantage of your slipstream, though. I think they let off the throttle. So it's not like I can slingshot these ahead like it's a slipstream mission. Give him a toe. I think they they probably like let off whenever they get close to you. Now that I think about it. I should probably pay attention to my splits. Well, as long as I can do it in second place, though, because I can't get an accurate reading. Right? Oh, no, it is first. Derp. The Takata Dome really isn't that good. At least compared to, like, the, uh... There's a Navi in the modal pit work. Oh, I got rammed. I 
I cannot lose their slipstream. Alright, something slowed them down, but thankfully it did. I'm just gonna dive bomb. can't hit the wall. Oh, well, okay, you can just push me into the wall, I guess. This track is so tricky just because it's like, it's so wide, and that makes it really hard to get your braking and throttle points correct. I really should have gone on the inside. Gonna do it again, Dick. Oh. Almost went three wide. It's gonna be tricky to try to finish in second with how we're swapping positions like this. Let me just cheese it real quick. I'm gonna have to dive bomb like super deep into turn turn three. In fact, I'm gonna test it out right now. This could ruin my race, but if I don't do it, or if I don't try, then I'm gonna be finishing in fourth anyways. Alright, if I set them up right, then I could pull it off. It seems like the banking just does nothing for your grip. Oh no, I... Damn it. I tried to get around him, but he just took an awkward, awkward exit. Nope, I couldn't do it. Mobile's trying to make a move on me. Oh, 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 it's gonna close. Eek. Yeah! Okay, that was a, even though that wasn't for first, that was an exciting battle for second. I think the Supra just like lifted at the very end there for some reason. But, I'll take it. Yes, the endurance is definitely hell on this, and I'm actually going to be doing that fairly soon. So, even though we ended up in second... It's still way better than ending up in fourth, because we were kind of battling there for second. So, that shall be the thumbnail for this. Hopefully, the replay camera ends up on a good spot, like across the finish line, because that was kind of sick, going three wide. So, on to race number five. Here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. I would say it's a weird location for this, but the game doesn't have enough Japanese tracks in it, so it kind of makes sense. It is like along the Pacific, so. Yeah. It's a good substitution. So, let's see how this one goes. The handling might be a little... sketch... in the NSX. 
Oh no, I got rammed. At least they didn't go all the way to the grass. That would have been very bad. Uh, I have not done a cheat engine tutorial, actually. Probably getting me mixed up with someone else. And the reason why I haven't done a cheat engine tutorial is that it is just way too complicated for my brain to explain. If I don't understand it enough, then I can't really teach it to anyone else, pretty much. Because most of the stuff I do on there is just trial and error, anyway. Oh, you really need to move it. That was painfully s slow. In the credits, you mentioned the real owner of the tutorial. Are you sure it was my video? Because I haven't done anything like cheat engine related wherever it comes to tutorials. Oh no, I got on the throttle too early. Get back on the road. Okay, at least I didn't lose it. Zombie Nivus was zooming off again. Not if I have something to say about it. The AI were terrible at the last corner, so I'll probably be in slipstream range by then. Except not, because I'm in the grass. Dirt. Sand. Whatever. I love it how I just eat my words immediately after I say something. That F in Zanavi. Or Zanavi. At least it's providing some entertainment. Okay. There's an apex there somewhere. Does JGTC actually go to Laguna Seca? Because there's no way, like, there's enough tracks just in uh, Japan for their entire series. Like, they have to visit some other countries. Oh my god, I'm doing it again! Skill. I ran out. Okay, this is actually proving to be a little bit tougher than I thought. Skill-wise. That was a pretty good injury to hairpin. It's not big enough. That's unfortunate. Don't do it again for the third time in a row. Gosh. This 
skill issue. If I just stop making these goofy ass mistakes, I'd probably be neck and neck with him right now. Epic chase. Alright. Don't fuck it up for the third time. No, fourth time in a row. Be patient on the throttle. Wait, wait, wait. Now. Finally. Although it was a little slow. Late on the brakes here. We're getting closer, though. The pressure is on. Ooh, can I get across the line first? Doesn't look like it. Clean overtake. Ah. All right. Let's do it again. Nice. Alright, as long as I don't make any catastrophic mistakes, I'm pretty much in the clear. Do a later entry on this. Okay, I could have gotten on the throttle a lot earlier that time. Alright, I'm pretty much home free now. Is that the right word, home free? Probably not. Hardest mission besides 34? Uh, probably the Sukuba one with the Subaru. Even though it is short, difficulty wise, I think it's the most difficult. Alright, that was actually pretty good. Perfect corkscrew. Roy, how do we do? And not quite the best lap, but. I'll take it. Is this a teeny bit worried at the beginning, but it just 
took me a few extra laps to find all my marks this time around, so once I did find them, then it became pretty easy. So, I already saved the thumbnail for Super Speedway, so we're good for now. Another first place win, on to race number 7. And this time we're going to Hong Kong. So, this track is notorious for being extremely difficult. So for this one, I am going to be switching back to the hards. Because it is very technical, and I will be at a massive disadvantage on super hards. So, that's my reasoning. I could still get absolutely owned. I could beat the Zanavi by... 15 seconds. I have no idea. Let's go. We'll find out soon enough. It also doesn't help that this is a rolling start. A rolling start with traffic through a narrow street course. A technical one in race cars, mind you. Where downforce pretty much means almost nothing. Already clipping the inside. This track is definitely worse than Monaco. And, oh my god. That is not a great start. Sector 1 of this track is the worst. Uh, and the slowdowns don't help. They really don't help. I'm gonna have to go try hard cam at least until the lag stops. Uh, I'm gonna stay in second. Just need to get in front of a couple cars. Almost dive bombed the Ray Brig. Also, pretty reflections. He drove into me. That should be a penalty on him. Alright, let's see how our splits do from now on. We're at a 4 7 across the line. Get to use the AI as a reference. Alright, down a third for that kink. Down a third for this one, too. Go wide. Avoid the curbing if I can. Avoid the inside barrier. And I've actually made up a lot of ground. Decent. 100 meter board. Alright, this might not be as bad as I thought. The hard compounds really helped. Oh, I almost hit the pit lane wall. Almost ate my words immediately. Go figure. Oh, come on. You're taking awkward lines, Mr. Z. Short shifting for some reason. Perfect. Perfect ish until I ran into traffic. Yeet. I'm trying to make a clean overtake. I don't want to die bomb all the AI. 
so I'm just trying to wait for a good opportunity. I will say one thing, their brakes are definitely way better than mine. Even though they do break a tad earlier than they should. Definitely don't want to be on the outside and have them push me into the pits. This is where he was slow last time. Yep, right there at that one spot. This is a really bad spot to overtake. Just gonna hold off. Same here. Okay, I just rammed him. Alright, I want to set myself up good for this corner. Or at least attempt to. Didn't get anything though, big rip. Not always lucky. Okay, yeah. Very awkward braking right there. Alright, let's see if I can make my move now. Nice. Even though there was contact. And I can shift my attention to the Zanami. An overtake on the final corner would be pretty epic, not gonna lie. Because they don't really swing out wide on it. They hold the inside. But I also don't want to like set myself up for the AI to just ram me into the wall and then I spin. I do have a chance to dive bomb right here. And it ended up working. He stayed super far back. Uh, I believe this is sky Skyscraper. I probably wouldn't have a chance on the super hards though, so. Kinda glad I did change them. Wonder how far or how fast my laps are gonna be now without that traffic. Oh that curbing is like placed in the absolute worst spot. I could take that a lot faster. This went a little bit too wide that time. Oh, we were on lap six of nine. I forgot to call it out. Haha, <laughs> meme number.
still turning into early right there. It's because of that outside curbing. It kind of screws with you a little bit. There we go. Definitely a best lap right there. Oh yeah, I destroyed it. Almost 18 flat. Uh, the advantage to wheel is more precision. So, at least like GT4 wise, a wheel is much better. But whenever it comes to GT7, a wheel is better everywhere except fixing, or except counter steering. So, like on GT7, drifting is a whole lot easier on controller. And super hard on a wheel. Almost 10 seconds ahead now. Okay, maybe I would have had a decent battle on the super hards. Just like the overtaking would have been a lot harder though. Yeah, definitely faster lock to lock. Okay. Oh, first time I screwed that up. And, uh, yeah, that was quite anticlimactic. Keep getting on the throttle too early on the final corner, but... Oh well. So, I believe that was race number seven? Probably? I don't know. I'm losing track. Yep. 15,000 credits, once again. And if I am not mistaken, that should be it for this episode, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do 8, 9, 10 to end it off. So, stay tuned for the third part of the JGGC cam 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 champion shit. Yes. <laughs>